Hey everybody, this is Roadblock. Welcome back to the Defense Channel. Today we're going to be look, taking a look at Japan's new aircraft carriers. Japan's Maritime Self-Defense Force, or what they call their Navy these days, has aircraft carriers again. While they cannot publicly call them this due to language in the Japanese constitution that was adapted after World War II, that is in essence what they have. Let me explain. Back in 2006, Japan laid the keel for JS Hayuga. This 646 foot long warship with a flight deck and its sister ship JS Issei were claimed to be ASW helicopter carriers, which to be fair is basically what these ships are. Despite this, the Japanese officially call them helicopter destroyers because they're not allowed to technically have an aircraft carrier. Despite this, they're the first ships with a full-size flight deck built by Japan since World War II. They're similar in size to smaller carriers operated by both the Italian and Spanish navies. They're known as the Hayuga class. Both ships are 646 feet long and displace 19,000 tons under a full load. The ships are powered by four gas turbines with two propellers. They can make over 30 knots, and carry a crew numbering between 350 and 370 sailors and officers. The Japanese justified the need for such ships by citing the need for an effective ASW defensive platform, as well as being able to use the ships to provide humanitarian relief from natural disasters. The Hayuga class have operated multiple helicopters, including the Sikorsky CH-53 Sea Stallion, the AH-64D Apache, and the V-22 Osprey Tilt Rotor, among others. Taking over the mantle from the Hayuga class as the largest ships in the Japanese fleet was the follow-up design, the Izumo class. These ships are much bigger, being 813 feet long and displacing 27,000 tons under a full load. The two ships built in the class are JS Izumo and JS Kaga. These ships were built as helicopter carriers like the Hayuga class, but from the very beginning stages of planning, the option to easily convert the two ships to operate fixed wing short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft was included in the design. This is where the term aircraft carrier can get touchy because the Japanese self-defense force proceeded to make modifications to both ships to accommodate these short takeoff vertical landing aircraft and Japan has ordered 40 units of the F-35B, and U.S. Marine Corps pilots have already performed takeoffs and landings on Izumo, as you can see in the video that's on your screen right now. The problem lies in Japan's language and its constitution, specifically Article 9, that prohibits it from possessing offensive weapons, including aircraft carriers that were so prominent in its World War II Navy. To address this issue, like the Hayuka class, the Izumo class is not called an aircraft carrier. They are referred to as multi-purpose destroyers. Japan's current Prime Minister Kishida has made speeches that have left the door open to amend Japan's constitution to allow it to address neighboring threats in the region, including North Korea, China, and Russia. Time will tell, but in reality, this would just be a formality at this point. Because, as you can see on your screen, Japan clearly has ships capable of fueling fixed-wing aircraft right now, and their capabilities will only improve with time. I personally hope that someday they're allowed to officially call their Maritime Self-Defense Force a Navy once again. Enough time has passed since my opinion. It needs to happen. Uh, what's your opinion? I'd love to hear it in the comments. Uh, this is Roadblock. That's all I got for y'all today. I want to thank you guys for watching the Defense Channel. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.